Hi everyone, welcome back. Just want to say a massive hello to our new subscribers and thank you for subscribing. What we're going to do today is something that I've been working on for a while. As you know, I've been I've been asked to do the makeup for Mask of the Devil, which is a new horror movie that we're doing. If you want to donate any money towards it and see your name up in the big screen, um, click on this link here um, below and in the links in the description below for all that um, information for the Kickstarter. That would be amazing if you could contribute anything that you could. So one of the characters, um, his skin falls off um, for, can't give too much away because I don't want to spoil it, but he has a issue with his skin and it falls off. So I'm going to do a little test makeup today and show you how I would do it, or one of the ways of how I would do it. So I'm going to do it on my, on my forehead here. What I've got now is some cellophane or some um, cling wrap or whatever you want to call it. Just cut off a little bit like that. Move my hat. See my horrible hair. And then just place it where you want to sculpt or to mimic flesh from. So you've got that line there. And then just get in a sharpie or anything like that. This is a little tip that I learned from the Stan Winston School. So if you haven't already, go check them out as well. They're fantastic. Um, so you get your cling film. And you place it on the area where you want. And then you just get a sharpie and then just draw around where you want the prosthetic to go so let's have it like that for a second so I've got that basic shape of where I want the prosthetic to go so now taking that cling film away you've got the shape of where you want to sculpt your your forehead prosthetic to be so usually I would sculpt this in clay and then just um, mold it and cast it like that. But because this is a test uh, makeup, I'm quite doing it quite fast. So now I've got that sorted. I've done one earlier and I've mimicked it out. I've put it in a poly pocket or a plastic plastic pocket, whatever you want to call them. And drew out my, my outline of my forehead. I've laboured it top so I know that where my widow's peaks go and stuff like that. And I've just literally just tapped some latex onto it to give me that that shape that I want and that prosthetic that I want. So let's crack on into it and start the rest of the tutorial. The first thing I'm gonna do is add a couple of veins to my forehead so with this look you've got to kind of like work everything backwards it will all become clear as and when we're going to do it but for the veins i've got some tinsley i think it's pronounced um transfers basically like a little tattoo transfer i've i've cut it out to the shape where i want so full of the 90s and 80s kids who are, who will remember this it's basically a, a fake tattoo so you, you apply it the same way you put it on wherever you want it to go image on your forehead or wherever you want it to go and then get water and saturate saturate it really so let's do that now so the first thing you want to do is take off it comes with a plastic wrap you want to take that off Probably just probably about there and stick it on uh, my face, push it down. I've had this, this for a couple of years now so I don't know if it's actually going to work. <laughs> Fingers crossed, it does. So I've pushed it down, it's sticky and now get your water and I'm just using a bit of foam. You can use a cloth or anything like that. 
saturate your your item and push it down and saturate the paper and you want to do this on clean skin you want no makeup on or anything like that you want your skin to be very dry and very clean otherwise it won't stick at all and then just rub to the area where you want that vein to go okay so now peel away and then you should have a vein well I'm put my put my glasses back on so for now I've got like a, a scar looking vein which is fine it's exactly what I want and the vein isn't really going to be seen all that much but I still want it there because it will be a subtle you'll be very subtle so I'm going to go in with a um, this palette this is the this is just a grease uh, cream a greasy cream greasy cream palette Ooh, say that 10 times fast and I'm just going to go in with the the greens and the this blue here and mix these two together just go over it because I don't want it to be red I want it to be green because I'm very pale and I have green um, veins and then using the outline of the vein that you've just stuck on just dot in just periodically dot in bring out where you want the rest of it to go so it will look something like that and it does look like a hot mess at the moment but trust me stick with me most of special effects makeups look terrible until about five minutes before you finish and it always looks dodgy and weird and you're like oh my god what have i done but then like literally about five minutes before you finish doing everything you step back and then you look at the whole creation and you're like damn damn this is good but every little step in between hand is just like you question life you're like why what is this nonsense but it all comes together trust me so now we've got those veins put in i'm going to use the rest of that i'm going to tap out just to blend blend it and this is going to be really messy so i'm going to go in now with the same same palette going in with the red oh, this red here just stippling out very light and over the over the vein that we've done this is going to be basically the outline and that vein still there now I have the, the brown so now I can just place that over everything and then just have that peeling up that's fine Keep that to one side. It's stuck together. Let's see. Even I make mistakes. Because I did the powder on the back of it. Powder at the back of it. You do not want it to stick together. So I'm going to put that over to one side. It feels like Blue Peter. This is what I made earlier. This is what I'm going to do now. So this is actually what we're going to do now. So right now. So we've got that prosthetic over to one side. I'm going to make the rest of our forehead a little bit more gnarly. So I'm going to go in with the bruise wheel, the Meron's bruise wheel. Again, I've had to stick it because look, it broke. <laughs> it still works, but it's broken. So again, going in with that sponge, I'm going to go in with this red. It's called the maroon red here and the, ro the bloody rose. And again, I'm going to mix that and just layer that up again. Friday 6 o'clock I usually upload um, but sometimes I will upload on a Tuesday for the little little um, video and sometimes I upload um, videos of Bella my dog which is she's just chilling down here uh, beside me at the moment she's having a little nap but yeah press that subscribe button press the notification button so all right now what we're gonna do is get the um, latex prosthetic and I'm just gonna put latex here at the bottom and have it folding over so get my latex that's the excess of that. and I'm just gonna put latex just above my eyebrow place it down let that smooth place it in. So now, as that's drying, 
But no, we've got all of this exposed, which is fine. Because we want most of that to be exposed anyway. And I'm not gluing that down or anything like that at the moment. We're going to use a bit of foundation and make this look like this. Or make this a little bit better. And this a little bit better. Because this is not this is not pretty. No, no, no. No many blueberries can fix this. Oh. I'm going to go in. I'm going to go in with the Ben Nye HD foundation palette. Da -da 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 -da. And mix up my colours. So now that my foundation is done, I'm going to go in and peel this back down to just before we stuck it on. Now we've got this this flap, this skin flap coming down. So I'm going to go in with the, the blood paste from Grimace and I'm going to squeeze a little bit out. Squeeze it all out. Getting a spatula and then just sticking and tapping into it again. And then going in with the, the burn gel, doing the exact same. So, Nimbar Creations Blood. And I'm just going to pour that on the, the blood sponge that we used already. Only a little bit. All, all over. I'm rolling the flap back up where we want to go for where it wants to be. You want to get your foundation uh, brush again. Oh, see my eyebrows. And now that is the final look finished. And all you got to do And there's the final look guys if you like this give me a thumbs up press that subscribe button right there and remember don't be cute be gorgeous i'll see you on the next one bye